Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Bud Illich, who is the ANZ Country Manager for Zscaler. And Zscaler is a cloud-based cybersecurity specialist and provides a host of solutions, including cloud-delivered security as a service, SD1 security, and more. Welcome to the Jam, Bud. Thanks, Nick. Thanks for having me. No worries. So, so to start off, for an IT or security manager that hasn't worked with Zscaler before, what are your key products and offerings? Our key offering is around that secure cloud transformation and enabling customers to move their workloads from on-premises into public cloud securely. So there's uh, a number of different, a couple of different key capabilities. We provide that whole network transformation, security transformation and application transformation. What we are providing is a, 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 a cloud security platform that's delivered as a service. And as that service, there are two key capabilities that, we're, that we provide. First one being Zscaler Internet Access, uh, which, which ensures users, keeps, um, keeps, the, um, you know, keeps the users protected in terms of the, um, you know, the good in and keeps the bad out, um, providing a whole a list of capabilities um, in terms of from not only you know, secure web gateway to firewall to DLP to CASB, etc. That whole security stack that customers traditionally build on in their own data center on premise, we are providing that as a cloud service um, across the world. In you know, hundred well, we've got over one hundred and fifty points of presence in in um, and and capabilities in one hundred and eighty different countries. That's that Zscaler Internet Access. And the Zscaler private access is for users that are coming back in remotely trying to access applications, whether they're on premise or in a public cloud environment. What it is, is a zero trust network access solution um, that provides the same user experience as if a, a customer was on premise and allowing them to securely access their applications. Like I said, whether on premise or in multiple different clouds. Um, and what priori priorities should security managers be focused on, especially now in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic? So this environment has changed, obviously with COVID, it has changed uh, the priorities for a lot of IT security managers. Um, in particular, in particular, you know, with users being remote, um, large, most organizations providing remote access to their users um, was only, uh, I guess, a subset of users. Traditionally, they would provide it using you know, a VPN, a virtual private network, um, which required on-premise infrastructure in, that, in their data center to be able to access it. But they only typically provided for a subset. Um, and then being able to provide that for all their users is is a challenge. I'll give you a good example. Our National Australia Bank is a, uh, a large reference customer of ours. They had, they provided remote access for five to 6,000 users um, at any one time. And when COVID hit, you know, being able to provide access to all your users was a significant challenge. But, you know, doing that using traditional virtual private networks um, is an issue because you need to build additional infrastructure on premise to be able to accommodate that. And using traditional VPNs, um, it's not it's not um, you know it's not as secure. Um, there are um, vulnerabil vulnerabilities in in the traditional VPN infrastructure, and as a result, um, you know a zero trust network access solution is is the preferred option. So, you know, in uh, NAB's example. They were able to provide it for 30,000 users in, in a three to four week period, um, which using traditional methods of a VPN uh, wouldn't, um, wouldn't have been able to be done. Um, so not only providing access to all the users immediately, but also providing improved security in the way that they're accessing um, their data and applications remotely. That's a key capability that I guess a lot of security um, um, people are, are challenged with in this current environment. And likewise, um, you know, 
uh, they're accelerating their adoption of cloud. They don't, they need to focus on, you know, removing, majority of them are moving as much infrastructure and applications out of uh, on-premise and into public clouds. And, and as a result, they need to change the way that they do their security in, the, in that new uh, cloud world as such. All right, yeah. Um, and can you tell me what trends your product development teams are focused on now or in the future? So uh, the focus is uh, uh, predominantly around uh, heavily on zero trust, the zero trust network access from users remotely accessing uh, back in applications and, and data, but likewise now focused on zero trust between even applications within the public cloud environment. So ensuring that, um, that, that there is an improved security between, not only between users and applications, but between applications themselves, so irrespective of where they're located. So zero trust is a, is a big focus. Uh, likewise, um, um, you know, Gartner coins the term SASE, uh, which is a secure access service edge, which is effectively allowing users um, and organizations to, to provide secure access to their applications irrespective of location and the uh, easiest access to it. So a good example is, you know, if you've got the likes of users that are traveling and are overseas, in order for them to, in order for them to access their applications, uh, and if they're cloud-based, it doesn't make sense for them to be backhauling back into a data center, say in Australia, going back out to the to the you know public cloud, back through their data center, and hairpinning back out. So, you know, implementing that SASE model, um, which um, um, we're, we're we're known as as a clear. Um, I guess one of the clear market leaders in providing that capability and also around um, zero trust. Right, yeah. And um, what infrastructural resources do you have currently in the ANZ market? So um, we have data center, uh, we have a presence in both Sydney and Melbourne, uh, data center um, are points of presence um, with, our, with our public cloud offering. Likewise, um, we also have it in New Zealand, um, a data center based in, um, in Auckland. And we have a couple of other, um, I guess, um, you know, private Zscaler networks for, for some larger, um, larger customers as well. Perfect. And finally, if a partner or enterprise end user wanted to engage with Zscaler, what is the best way? Um, contact us um, we, via the website or through directly to myself um, or through um, particularly partners through our channel manager. Um, you know, just to give you some background, the team has grown significantly, particularly in the last couple of years. We've more than doubled our head count to over 40 people. Um, you know, this is off the back of, of, of I guess, the uh, the adoption of cloud as organizations move uh, more and more workloads to, to public cloud, they're, they're leveraging a cloud-based security platform, which obviously, you know, which we are one of the clear market leaders. Um, you know, so in, in order, if anyone is interested and wants to contact us, well, our details are on our, on our public website, but more than happy for them to reach out directly to, to myself or any one of the team, 40 odd people here in Australia. Perfect. Well, that concludes the IT Jam today with Zscaler NZ Country Manager, Bud Illich. Thank you so much for your time, Bud. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it.